Welcome to Future Talk. On today's program, we're going to talk about the Triple Helix Conference that recently took place at Stanford University. The three strands of the Triple Helix are academia, industry, and government. And the goal of the conference was to foster innovative methods of solving major world problems by promoting collaboration between these three strands. I have two guests. Keith Devlin is founder and executive director of Stanford's H-Star Institute, which hosted the Triple Helix Conference. If you listen to National Public Radio's Weekend Edition, you probably know him as the math guy, who always dispenses little nuggets of mathematical wisdom. Keith has won numerous scientific prizes, including the Pythagoras Award and the Carl Sagan Award for the popularization of science. He's written 31 books, and he's been recognized by the California State Assembly for his innovative work. Maria Ranga was co-organizer of the Triple Helix Conference and chair of its scientific committee. Marina is also a senior researcher at the H-Star Institute. She has a PhD in science and technology policy studies from Sussex University in the United Kingdom. She's a member of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe's expert group on innovation and competitiveness and she's also a consultant to the European Commission. Marina, what exactly was the Triple Helix Conference trying to achieve? What was the real purpose of it? There are several purposes. The Triple Helix Conference is a major event in the innovation community. Uh, it takes place every year, every time in a different country, and we have been at the ninth edition this year for the first time in Silicon Valley. When you talk about the innovation community, who is that? Is that disparate groups of people who were not at all you just mentioned academia industry and government we are talking about a broad constituency encompassing uh, academics uh, university managers technology transfer offices managers uh, business people consultants policy makers uh, government officials uh, so what did the conference do to bring all these people together they have a common purpose, innovation and advancing the knowledge and practice in innovation studies and in, in, in the real practice of innovation. Is the purpose to study innovation or to uh, promote actual innovation, to create real collaborations? The conference is actually a major platform for dialogue where people come to share the latest theories, the latest research findings, the latest experiences to communicate their ideas and to share uh, the ideas of their peers. And this broad spectrum, this broad focus on the three institutional spheres is really a wonderful opportunity to get diverse knowledge from various angles. Was there pretty much equal representation between these three groups, industry, academia and government, or is it mostly you know, one group? We have a broad group from the university sphere, but actually this year, probably much more than in previous years, we had a broader community from industry. Uh, government uh, people have also been with us to a very large extent, so it was a very good combination. Now, we're talking about theories of collaboration, because collaboration is not a new concept. So what, what are you adding that makes it different from what's been tried before? You know, the core concept of the triple helix idea, metaphor, or theoretical framework, if you like, is that university in the knowledge society takes a leading place in the production of knowledge in, the, in every day's life of the community. Because university has an immense capacity for producing knowledge and moreover for commercializing and using the knowledge results. So university now takes a more important place in this triad together with government and industry. It's no longer a support structure, just offering students, you know, now, it, now it's say, a real actor. Now you're saying the purpose of this is to foster collaboration to solve problems. Is there some specific set of problems that you're especially dedicated to working on? There are problems at different levels because innovation has become nowadays such a complex issue to deal with. It starts from science and technology, it goes into research and development, it goes into education, it goes into labor market, it goes into employment and environment and ICT. So it becomes extremely comprehensive. You just said we want to solve the world's biggest problems. The world's biggest problems are actually made of small problems that we are trying to 
understand, to identify, and then provide solutions to. You're talking mostly about technological innovations, trying to solve problems with more technology. Technology is just one side of it. Uh, there is also a lot of basic science involved in it, although this, you know, this differentiation between basic and applied is very blurred uh, these days. Uh, there's also a lot of um, uh, social interaction in it. There's also a lot of thinking about the philosophy of, of the concept, really, and the way it reaches society, the communication channels, um, the people who are promoting it, the way the message comes across. I understand that there was also some gaming at the conference. There was a game that people played to foster innovation. What was that all about? Yes, that was a novelty of this conference. It was called the Trilicious Triple Helix Innovation Game. It was the first time that we introduced this in the conference. And uh, it was a sort of replication in small of the triple helix problems in large. Uh, it was a fascinating, challenging opportunity to solve a triple helix problem, a scenario. So is it a role-playing game uh, where somebody um, plays an industry yes, person? Or a yes. Um, we do try to solve triple helix problems with solutions from what we call the knowledge space, the innovation space, and the consensus space. And each of these spaces reflects to some extent, sometimes larger, sometimes smaller, the university, the government, and the industry. But not just sticking to these institutional spheres alone, but seeing that in a more combined way. So we played uh, knowledge cards, we played innovation cards, and we played consensus cards, which have to do pretty much with governance. So this, All is, a this, this is a board game? Yes, this is a board game, yes. And uh, people who play that in teams of uh, five to six people or so, have been really uh, absorbed by uh, the game and they, they really try to provide the best solutions to the problem they chose. So do you think that any specific insights came out of the conference that would be long lasting? Um, even, you know, even this, the game pro produced very interesting solutions, very innovative solutions per se. The conference produced so many outcomes it would be difficult for me to just uh, say one or resume that in a few words. We had so many brilliant representatives of Silicon Valley people, of Stanford, uh, internationally from 37 countries. Um, it was such a broad exchange of ideas and such a lively interaction, both with uh, academics, uh, scientists, practitioners, students. Students have enjoyed that greatly. I have had a wonderful feedback from many students who said, oh, this has made such a difference to my professional life and you know my, my development. We actually had a camera crew at the conference as you know and we shot some video there and we're going to show some of that video. I interviewed a few of the uh, attendees and panelists at the conference so let's go ahead and roll that tape and then we'll come back and talk some more. 